and welcome to our first episode of Staking Recipes. Staking Recipes is the newest format of video from us at Staking Rewards, where we will be showing you the ins and outs of all things staking related. From staking tutorials to guides on how to best use the Staking Rewards website and the tools we provide. My name is Alan, and today I'll be walking you through how to stake one inch. To start off with, you will need to download the MetaMask add-on for your Chrome browser. You can do this by heading over to the Chrome Web Store and clicking Add to Chrome on this page. Once installed, you'll be asked to create a new wallet. I'll be naming mine Staking Recipes. Once created, you will be required to send some BNB tokens to your wallet to facilitate transactions on BSC. You can find your MetaMask wallet address at the top here and click on it to copy it. One inch can also be staked on Ethereum and the process is very similar. However, the transaction fees on Ethereum are much higher and therefore I would advise you to use Binance Smart Chain this time. Once you have your tokens sent over to your new wallet, you will need to purchase some one inch tokens. You can do this on a number of different DEXs, but today I will use one inch. If you head over to the one inch website and click on launch that, it will take you to the trading overview. Here, I will be showing you how to purchase half a BNB's worth of one inch. Firstly, you should type in the number of BNB tokens you would like to swap. I'm going to put it to 0 0.5. You can now see that one inch is going to give you roughly 75 one inch tokens for half a BNB. And it also compares it to how much you would get if you were to go directly on Pancake Swap. You can see that you're actually getting a slightly better result by using one inch as it aggregates it for multiple different DEXs. Once you've decided how many BNB tokens you'd like to convert, click on the swap button. Now, confirm a swap. You have to confirm a transaction in your MetaMask wallet by clicking the confirm button. Now, all that's left is to wait a few seconds and wait for the confirmation of MetaMask. This takes a few seconds to a minute at most. You can see the transaction here and success, you are now owner of one inch. Once you have confirmed you have some one inch tokens, which you can see here, your balance is set. My balance currently is 75, roughly. You can head over to the DAO governance page. Here you'll be able to see the staking uh, DAP. You can decide how many tokens you would like to stake. In my case, I'm just going to do, stake all of them. And now you have to give permission to one inch to use your tokens. You're going to have to do this once only for each new token for every single DAP you want to use it with. Once you have confirmed the transaction on your wallet, you again have to wait a few seconds. And as soon as the confirmation comes through, you can now press on the stake token button. You will once again have to confirm a transaction on your MetaMask and again wait a few seconds for the transaction to be confirmed. Another successful transaction, and you should now be able to see your voting balance on the bottom here. So my voting balance currently is 75 inch tokens. To unstake your tokens, you have to navigate to the unstake token button here, decide how many you would like to unstake, unstake the tokens, and once again, confirm a transaction in your MetaMask wallet. Once confirmed, you will once again be able to see that you own 75 one inch tokens. That's it. If you'd like a more written step-by-step -step guide on how to stake your one-inch tokens, you can navigate to stakingrewards.com where under the journal, you will see an article called How to Stake One Inch and Provide Liquidity on That One-Inch Exchange. Here, an article written by Kenneth Garofalo is gonna walk you through step-by-step -step on the exact process I just did in front of you. Thank you very much.